Head trauma in our pets is probably not something most people really think about, but it happens. And when it does, it can be life altering. That's because trauma to the head can cause a traumatic brain injury, or TBI. TBI is damage to the brain from a physical blow, and it's one of the more critical emergencies we treat in veterinary medicine. Hi, I'm Dr. Wong with Southeast Veterinary Neurology. Today, I'm going to walk you through head trauma in dogs and cats, what can cause it, signs to watch for, and how we care for these pets. The most common cause of head trauma is being hit by a car. Other causes include dog bites, falls, gunshot wounds, and sadly, intentional harm. The severity of damage depends not only how hard the head was hit, but where. When we talk about a head injury, we worry about two main parts of it. Primary injuries happen at the moment of trauma. A concussion is an immediate and temporary interruption of brain function. Primary injuries also include contusions, or bruising of the brain, skull fractures, and lacerations, or cuts in the brain tissue. But the bigger concern often comes later. Secondary injuries unfold in the minutes to days after the head trauma. They're caused by a complex chain reaction in the brain, including bleeding, swelling, poor blood flow, and low oxygen levels. These changes can not only worsen brain damage, but even affect other organs, like the heart and lungs. Our main goal is to limit secondary injuries as much as possible. Some signs of head trauma are obvious, like visible injury to the head, bleeding from the ears or from the nose, disorientation, stumbling, seizures, and loss of consciousness. You may even see decerebrate rigidity, where the limbs are rigid and the head is arched back. And this means a very, very serious brain injury. Other signs are more subtle, like abnormal eye movements, changes to the pupils, changes in breathing, slowed heart rate, and changes in the body temperature. Symptoms vary and can change over time due to secondary injuries, making close observation critical. When a pet with head trauma comes in, our first priority is to stabilize life-threatening injuries. We monitor heart rhythm, blood pressure, and oxygen levels, and we evaluate for things like shock and internal injuries. Once stable, we perform a neurological exam and score patients using the modified Glasgow Coma Scale. Scores range from 3 to 18, with lower scores indicating more severe damage. But this isn't just a one-time number. We monitor it over time to track progress and to guide treatment. When it comes to imaging of the head, CT is useful due to its speed, sensitivity for hemorrhage and small fractures, safety, and compatibility with life support equipment. MRI is also very important in these cases for examining soft tissues and getting an idea of what the brain parenchyma, or the functional tissue of the brain, looks like. When it comes to managing head trauma, our goals are to reduce brain swelling, maintain blood flow to the brain, limit secondary injuries, and manage pain. We may give medications to relieve brain swelling, give fluids to support blood pressure, and provide supplemental oxygen. Pain management is crucial, and we select medications that won't affect breathing or increase pressure in the brain. If a patient is having seizures, we use brain and heart safe anticonvulsants, and if there's a risk of infection, like open wounds or skull fractures, we'll start antibiotics. Steroids are typically not recommended for head trauma as they've been shown to worsen outcomes. Supportive care is also important. Head trauma patients may need help with bladder function, staying clean, avoiding pressure sores, protecting their eyes from ulcers, and staying well nourished. We monitor these patients closely, checking vitals, neurological reflexes and responses, and a modified Glasgow Coma Scale every 30 to 60 minutes. In some cases, surgery may be necessary to remove blood clots, repair skull fractures, remove foreign material embedded in the brain, or relieve pressure on the brain. The big question is, will my pet recover from head trauma? And the answer depends on the severity of the primary injury, whether there is secondary damage, and the response to treatment. 
High modified Glasgow Coma Scale scores usually mean a better chance of survival, but even pets with lower scores can surprise us. Dogs and cats are remarkably resilient. Ultimately, every case is unique and we base our prognosis on how your pet responds over time. It's worth noting here that some pets may recover and go on to develop seizures called post-traumatic epilepsy, but this can usually be managed well with medications. Head trauma is a serious medical emergency, but it doesn't mean it's the end of the story. With quick action and expert care, many pets recover and go on to live full lives. If you ever suspect your pet has suffered a head injury, don't wait and see. Early care can make all the difference. There is help, there is hope, and at Southeast Veterinary Neurology, we're here to guide you every step of the way.